What's going on YouTube? Here I have my car bag. I've seen some videos of people's setups, you know, have survival stuff in them. Mine is for quick fixes and things you may need in your car. So I'll kind of go through them and why I picked them. Here's a simple crescent wrench. This is just good for, you know, uh, taking off the terminals to the battery of your car if you need to clean them and maybe any little bolts that come loose during your ride. Maybe the air intake came loose or something in that nature. So I feel like this is a good thing to have in there. <clears throat> Here is a pry bar. If something gets lodged in between your fenders or whatnot, you can use this to pry things, lift things, anything in that nature. I feel like it's really good to have one of these. And you can see I've used it quite a bit of time. This is probably only about $4. This crescent wrench is probably from Walmart or who knows where. But you could probably pick this up for a couple dollars. Here I just have a basic pen in case I need to write something down. Here's a bit extender. So hard to reach places in when it's you know bent like this you can rotate this and i do have another thing that goes with that in this bag here are some zip ties i ordered a whole bunch off of amazon in all different shapes and sizes you can put your bumper back on with these you can wire management with this a uh, whole whole lot of useful things with zip ties Here's a basic multi-tool. I don't know where this is from. I think uh, my brother-in-law gave it to me. But this is probably only about $5. has wire cutters, needle nose. Let's see what else it has on there. Knife. I forget what people call that. Like a reamer or something in that nature. A bottle opener plus a flathead. A saw, screwdriver, Let's see what else is in here, just to familiarize myself. A can opener, I believe. So all useful things. Now, this isn't all the things I keep in my car. I got quite a bit, like I have, you know, this trauma kit. This is for major bleeding, not your little band-aids. This has a tourniquet up top here. I have a full video on this if you want to watch it. But let's go over this. I don't know if I gave you dimensions on this bag, but it looks like it's about 9 inches by about, let's say, 5.5. <clears throat> I'll keep some gloves in there. This is a cheapo pair of gloves that are Milwaukee. Uh, I like these uh, gloves because they work pretty good and they're also like $4.00. No, everything in this pack's pretty cheap and affordable, and I feel every person should have something in this nature, but here's a hooded poncho in case it's raining and I don't have a jacket. Got this at Goodwill, but I believe this is a Walmart brand. I've got it for $1.75, so some small compact where I can throw it in there. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. This is a flashlight, well not a flashlight, but a beam. I got this at Costco, but it's pretty well made. It's by Cat. You can charge it here. You can charge things with it, so in emergencies you can charge your cell phone. Uh, but it only has one output. You can check your battery life. I guess I need to charge this. Uh, you can hang this, so I have a carabiner right here if I need to hang this. It also can be uh, upright like that, or whatever way you want to orientate this. It looks like it's one beam. I believe I got it for $20, but I've used this quite a bit. Pretty dirty. I think I've had it for about two or three years now. And I got this bag from Goodwill as well and I got it for about five dollars so 
fills. Next will be a tire repair kit. You know, this is simple. I got this from AutoZone for maybe $5, but I do construction, so if I get a nail or something, I have a way to fix, plug up the tire. If you don't know how to do this, this is a useful skill to know. And I would recommend for everyone to at least know how to use these. <clears throat> Next, I have my mini climb tools ratchet. This is a quarter inch, so I'll show you kind of how it works. You can put little bits in here. I have a bit extender on there just to get some more leverage or reach. Uh, this is a DeWalt attachment. It doesn't really matter which one you have. I got this in a pack for, I want to say like $15. It's, let's see how long it is. It's about four inches long. Useful. I can also pair it with the extender. That's why I left it out. So if I need to get in somewhere tight, I can get to that screw or bolt. And I'll show you how I get to that screw or bolt in a second. <clears throat> so I'm either going to use this universal bit. I got this on Amazon for about, what is it, $14 or so. So I can get most sizes. You will have to put it either in the center. If it doesn't fit, you can put it to the side and get it to pinch right there. You can also do awkward shapes as well. You know, it just has to fit in this dimension. So either one of these will take care of my bolts, hopefully. Go to the next thing. I do have a assortment of different bits in here. I haven't really went in this, but it came with a little Milwaukee bits uh, case, and thought it was pretty cool, so I threw it in there. Next, we got a lighter. There's a zip tie here, so I can't accidentally press it down and it leaks. You know, I'm not going to go over all the useful things, but I just have it in there just in case I need it. Get some of this stuff out of the way. Here are some hand warmers in case it's cold out. I feel like this is an important one. So, you know, just having basic tools in my car, I've been able I keep a set of jumper cables in there as well. So I'll have jumper cables. Sometimes batteries won't work right because they need to have the terminals clean. And this will get all that done. I don't know how much this is. It's probably about $5 or so. And, I've, you know, this can help you out if you need to clean your terminals. A little useful thing. Here's an emergency battery or flashlight doesn't work very well but I think I can get up to you know uh, charge my phone up to like 13 times with this thing I bought it on Amazon I don't know if this brand is still around but I've had this for at least five years now maybe more and I have a roll of duct tape and just to mention again, I don't know anything about this pack. I bought it on, or bought it at Goodwill. But it seems to do its job in my car. I'm not a fan of paying a ton of money in tools. And before I wrap up, I want to show you one more thing that I like to keep in my car or keep at home if I'm just going to work. But if I do go on road trips, this thing here is a can charge up to four things you can use an outlet you have you can just press the USB button it does USB if you need a flashlight it has a flashlight if you need AC power and it also has jumper cables as well as a compressor on there I've used this quite a bit and it was a hundred dollars at Costco and this will get you out of a pinch if you have a flat, you can repair your tire with this, and you can air it up with this. Or if someone needs help, and I've helped quite a bit of people, you can use this thing or whatever tools I showed you. But thanks for watching this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I'll be coming out with more 
EDC gear tool reviews, and I'll catch you guys later.